Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. All right, good. I don't know what happened. We had a little, uh, we had a little technical difficulties. It wasn't us. It was the internet. Uh, you know, we broke the internet. Can you imagine that? All right. So, yeah. so you're talking to Arizona, California, and Nevada, and you know, between all three off, uh, um, states, we have about 3,600 agents. So, just tell them a little about yourself. How long you've been doing this? What your production level was last year? Maybe your goal this year? All that good stuff, please. Well, last year I did close about 40 transactions. I uh, did about $20 million in uh, gross sales uh -huh. and uh, a little bit over half a million in GCI. My goal this year is uh, $1 million in GCI because of the con con uh, Corona-19. I don't know how well I'm going to be. I think I'm behind about 25%. Uh, so uh, if I really crank it up, I'm sure I can reach it there. So, uh, yeah, so my GCI this year will be a million dollars. So your GCI is going to be a million, and last year you were, mm -hmm. uh, like you said, uh, you closed 40 trans. That's a lot of, and, it, which, and what's your average sell price, just so they get an idea? Uh, average is about $800,000. Yeah, that's great. Good job, good yeah. job. Okay, so um, your goal is to do a million in GCI, and you got to do X amount of deals to do that. So give us, a, yeah. give us an idea of... You know, like uh, you did 40 deals last year. What's Where does most of your business come from and how do you do it? Well, the most of the business came from past clients. Right. Uh, and sphere of, uh, of influence. Uh, number two uh, was actually from uh, my farming. I do a lot of geo farming so with a consistency. That's what's really needed. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing that. And also uh, referrals from my past clients. And, you know, people in my database is uh, third. And the next is, of course, open houses are very important. Uh, so I'm out there every weekend uh, with my agents and just cranking it up. Uh, but right now we have to do a virtual. So it's changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, next is like YouTube. I, I've been doing YouTube for past. Sorry, I have an incoming call. Let me get rid of this. No problem. So... Um, I've been doing the YouTube for past about uh, nine years. Wow. And uh, it's been, you know, uh, working. Uh, I haven't really getting much, uh, but since like a couple of years ago, I've been getting some leads here and there. A lot of international buyers from it. So uh, I'm grateful for that. And uh, as to Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com, it kind of goes that uh, uh, in order. Okay, so you, you, you like yeah. you cover the whole gamut, which is great. You've got yeah. prospecting, yeah. you've got working mm -hmm. your sphere, you've got working mm -hmm. your farm. So do you guys, I mean, just when it comes to farming, I know that uh, you said geo farming. Do you guys get out there and do a little door knocking too for your open houses? Door knocking too, but mostly farming pieces. I have uh, now 5,000 farming that I do. I wish I could do door knocking every single one of the doors, but kind of overwhelming. So I'm, I focus on putting out really nice uh, mail pieces, and uh, it's, been, it's been working. I do door knockings as much as I can, uh, but 5,000, that's, that's quite a bit to yeah, 5, hit numbers, on every that's board. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And that's your second uh, leading source of business, too, so good job. Um, Thank you. Yeah, and YouTube, that's good. You, seven years ago, you, like, you were like probably one of the first people doing that then, weren't you, on YouTube? Uh, yes, yes. I was just basically doing, you know, going into uh, the listings that uh, my company uh, has and just going in there and just recording it. And now many people overseas are enjoying it a lot. Uh, I do in two different versions, one in uh, Korean and one in English. And uh, that's been working quite a bit. And I, I'm looking forward to doing a lot more. So, you know, I've, I've, during this Covina uh, pandemic, uh, I've been working mostly in the house, and uh, I've converted my home office into a uh, video studio. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Having a green screen like yours. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because, you know, I think, you know, the industry, industry has proven to be changed in the future. I, I do believe in online exposure. Hmm. So uh, I'm going to be focusing a lot there, too. So, yeah. Yeah, you got a lot. You got you got a little of everything going, which is great. So that's yeah. You have different sources coming, and you know you probably mm -hmm. go through little runs with different one based on, you know, exactly different months and so forth. 
Right, right. So YouTube, great. And I also noticed that you are you have a pretty decent social media pro, uh, presence too, Facebook, Instagram. You see? I'm trying. I'm trying a lot. <laughs> yeah. 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 And are you getting a decent amount of business out of that? Well, still uh, yet to come, but uh, like I said, most of the businesses are calling uh, from the calling my database. Okay. That's, that's like 70% of my business where it's coming from. So, um, I, yeah, that still is very important, and that will be my first priority. Uh, but uh, looking into the future, I think online exposure is very important. So yeah. uh, that's where I'm headed. All right, good. Good. So tell us a little about that. So, like you know, um, somebody that's newer out there or because, you know, all the top producers say, you know, call your sphere, work your sphere. Not all of them say call it, though, but I'm glad you did. Just call your sphere. Give us an idea, like how many people are in your database? What's your routine? How many times do you talk to them? What do you say? So give us an idea of how many people are in your database. Well, I've got about 3,000 people in my database, but a lot of them are agents. So come down to actual, uh, you know, non uh, real estate uh, related uh, database will be about uh, about a thousand. Okay. So yeah, it's just, it's, there are plenty of calls to make. So yeah, I try to make uh, 14 calls every day. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, that really does help. So I try to call five new uh, people and uh, five, uh, you know, uh, the transactions that I'm doing and for, you know, my database, uh, person who I've been in contact with. I got you. Okay. So when you say, when you say five new, what would that constitute? Give an idea what that would mean. Well, new, like, uh, you know, anybody who asks me uh, questions online, I answer them. I try to, you know, uh, try my best to get their phone number or email. So I, you know, get be, being in touch with them. Also, uh, open house uh, databases uh, that I do call. Um, and, you know, if there's no one to call, I just go outside and, you know, start uh, maybe being at the Starbucks or somewhere and start talking to people. You know, anything that I could do. That's just my goal. So, you know, goal of what I want to achieve uh, to increase my uh, volume. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. So you got you got a 14. See, th now, this is great, William, because, you know, in my yeah. training, I talk about that. If you want to yeah. do X amount of deals. You got to talk to X amount of people per day, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're talking yep. about. Your number happens to be 14 because when you factor in your team and and mm -hmm. so forth, your number is 14. And I know you have other players on your team. Uh, but before we get to the team, um, you know, so you so you're going to call five new. That's pretty easy. You know, the scripts are pretty. But when you call your sphere, you mentioned four or five of them a day. Give us mm -hmm. an idea. Like, what do you normally say to them? How do you stay in touch with them? Um, what's going on there? Well, I just asked him, how are you doing? You know, how's your family? Uh, not trying to, you know, be too salesy. Uh, you know, I'm about five minutes of uh, talking uh, or less. Um, yeah, nothing special. Just checking you know, in, trying to see, checking in. Yeah. How are you doing? That's about it. Just being in touch really does make sense. Every time I do call, um, they do appreciate just me calling them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I would imagine that, um, you know, when you step, when you call them and you stay in touch with them, it's very common that they break into real estate, don't they? Hey, how's the market? What's going on? Yeah. I mean, it, it does trigger, uh, uh, you know, something in real estate uh, they, and they start to ask me, uh, how the real estate is. I mean, then my, you know, conversation just, just pops up, but before I dial, I just, I just call, I just call to say hi. And that's all. Yeah, and it usually leads down the right yeah. road. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. What percentage of your business, I know it's number one, but what percentage of the business would you say came from your sphere, your database? 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. That's great. How long yeah. did it take you to build it to 3,000? Well, I've been in the business for 17 years. So I've been collecting all the emails and phone numbers in my database. So it took me 17 years. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. So you're one of the smart ones that started right away building that database, right? Oh yeah. I mean, uh, when I begun, I mean, thinking back, what brought me where I am is being uh, organized. 
before I will, everything was in my head. Yeah. Uh, but it never worked. Uh, so, I mean, I, I think I did pretty well. I did about, you know, a little bit over uh, 100,000 on the first year. So I, I think I was okay. Yeah. But then again, you know, I, I really didn't think about building the database. But uh, after like two or uh, second or third year, I started realizing, okay, I mean, I got all these assets. I have all this context. I got to start doing something. So I've been collecting them and uh, uh, having a platform was, you know, pretty important. Uh, that, that was a game changer. So, um, yeah, that's that's when I started uh, gathering the uh, uh, people's contact information and uh, just being in touch with everybody. Cool. So I guess what I want to say is uh, <clears throat> the game changer was having the uh, the system. Uh, having your system, yeah. 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 Do you um, – now, so you got 3,000 people in there. You call X amount of them. Some of them are real estate agents because you get referrals from probably all over the country, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, right. What do you send them? Like are they on the email campaign? Do you use um, – the Berkshire Hathaway newsletters. What do you use to send them? Well, I I send uh, open houses a lot uh, once a week. Yep. Every open houses that I do, I send them. You know, I usually have a four to five open houses every week. Um, you know, when outside what pandemic you yeah. know began. Uh, so with that, uh, people have been recognizing I am being active out there and working. Right. So every time they. Uh, need to uh, get any services in real estate, uh, they did remember me and contacted me. Yeah. Yeah. So you've made them familiar with you over being consistent and showing them that you are Mr. Consistent when it comes to real estate. By talking... Well, I, yeah, I try. Yeah, I, I, I am uh, very consistent, Make sure, making sure the email goes out once a week. Uh, and every time there is uh, farming pieces coming up, I, I just send them out. Nothing special, but it's about consistency. Yeah, uh, well, it does. Farming pieces. Mm. Yeah, it, it, as long as you're consistent and they know you're about real estate, you know, that's, uh, that's, that, that, that's what it's all about. You know, they, when they think yeah, of real estate, they think of you, especially the people in your sphere, and that's what it's all about. Okay, yes, good. Right. Awesome. Okay, so tell us a little about your team. So everybody, I know you have a team. you got some incredible players. I've met a few of them. Matter of fact, I was coaching them for a little while. What, uh, tell, mm -hmm. us, tell us about your team. Well, I have a team, uh, including me, three agents, and I have uh, one admin, uh, my my wonderful assistant, Sandra. So we have a total of four going on here, uh, and we're going strong. All right. Good. So when you say yeah. – like, so you have one administrative, three licenses, and the three licenses, licensed people are the ones that do mm -hmm. the open houses and some products. Yeah, we all – right, right. That's my first condition. Anybody want to join my team? Uh, the weekends will have to be available because uh, open houses are really important. Uh, a good way to expose yourself and, uh, and the team uh, and meeting a lot of people. I mean, averages of uh, meeting, you know, uh, about 10 people every uh, weekend. Uh, well, a day. So that's 20 people if you're including Saturday and, uh, and Sunday. So uh, with that amount of exposure, um, yeah, I mean, the worst can you get uh, all those contacts or the leads? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a dynamite source of business, especially if you do the active. And I know it's a little tough right now with COVID nineteen, but you can still do the virtual. And then soon, yeah. soon coming back to California will be actually people going to open houses again. I think that's you know I don't know exactly when it'll happen, but it's probably not too far off at this point. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm very looking forward to it. I'm trying to get used to this uh, virtual open houses. Um, it's not as you know, good as uh, actual open houses, but uh, I, I, I think this is uh, uh, some way that we have to find out and work out to be get used to. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things that everybody keeps talking about the new normal. And it's one of those things where, OK, this is part mm -hmm. of our new normal. But I'm one of the people that think, you know, those people out there right now, they're itching to get back to their lives. They're itching to be around people. So there's going to be a new normal, but a lot of the old stuff is still going to be there. And let's face it, one of the reasons why real estate is so, it's so important to have a great agent is it's a personal touch business. You want to go see the house. You want to talk to the person. You want that personal touch. And it sounds like with your sphere, you're, you're extremely good at that. Oh, yeah. 
I'm 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 trying <laughs> my best. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, being in touch is very important. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So you know, just to um, you know, just to give them an idea. All right. So whether you're brand new, been in the business for twenty years, whatever. Uh, you know, what would you tell somebody? The three most important things to focus on, okay, to have their business either come mm -hmm. out of the gate hot or take it to the next level. What would what would your advice be for agents out there? Well, having a mindset uh, every morning is very important and keeping your health up, uh, doing the exercise. I, I do wake up 4.30 in the morning and do my uh, morning routines uh, uh, what I'm grateful for every day, because that does make changes in your mindset, and uh, you know, uh, and also exercising uh, keeps your you know brain working and right. also keep you healthy and energy. And uh, you know, uh, the planning is very important. Uh, the business plan. I mean, we're going through the pandemic, so it, it changed a little bit of uh, you know my original plan, but. Uh, you have to constantly tweak it to uh, meet your goal. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, the consistency, uh, ah. I think, is really important. I mean, you have to st stick to it, uh, uh, whether you make the calls or w whether you uh, distribute uh, farming pieces. Uh, you know, uh, consistency is very important. Uh, and also, the game changer really was uh, my system. I mean, if you want to be in consistency, you have to track and record of what you do. And uh, that really is very important. So if you have those uh, in, uh, uh, things uh, ready, uh, I'm sure you will be successful uh, within six months. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I like what you say. Get up early, have a morning routine, mm -hmm. which is... Heavy on mindset is what I just heard. Okay, yeah, so exactly. you know, have affirmations, maybe read, listen to audio books. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, right. Okay, and then you do a workout. It sounds like what's what's what like? How long do you work out? What do you do in the morning? I work out uh, 45 minutes at the uh, at the at least. Yeah. Uh, I do have a small gym in my home, so mostly uh, uh, treadmills. Uh, you know, cycle and a little bit of weight. Uh, and, uh, you know, by other days I do stretch a little bit. So that's kind of the things that I do as far as the exercise is concerned, uh, for my physical health. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. And, and mentally, uh, you know, while I'm exercising, I, I listen to audiobooks yeah. uh, to just to motivate myself. Uh, that's really, uh, great time to focus when you exercise. I mean, your brain works better. <laughs> I, I, uh, realize so. Um, yeah. Good. Good. Okay. So you have, uh, you listen to audio books while you're working mm -hmm. out, you have that mm -hmm. morning routine. Okay. You, which gives you the mindset to be, uh, you know, conquer anything you want to that day. Right. Then the mm -hmm. next thing you said, you, you mentioned the system and I'm, when you say the system, what I believe you're talking about is having that organized mm -hmm. database, staying in touch with them, both email and physically talking to them. Is that what you're talking about by the system? Yeah, system like uh, CRM. Um, so I, 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 every time I make the calls, I keep a track of what that individual, uh, you know, uh, uh, we had a conversation with. I, I, I record everything. I, I track them on my system. I use Follow Up Boss uh, oh. for uh, follow ups and also uh, Realty Juggler to uh, for the transaction coordination. So. Uh, just working with those two, uh, just, I mean, I, we're talking, you know, 3,000 database. So if I, I can't remember all of them, I have right. to look it up. So that's really important. And knowing when to call back, I mean, you uh, uh, recording when to call back that person. So uh, uh, you're in a routinely, re yeah. on a regular basis in, co in contact with them. Yeah. So that's really important. Yeah, and, and when you yeah. when you log that in, it reminds you on your schedule, you got to talk to so-and-so and so forth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it'll have to be automatic system. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it just won't work. Yeah, especially with 3,000 yeah. people in there. It's, like you said, it's tough to keep track of. Them. Right. Yeah, and you got to, I don't know if you've checked out the um, VAC 2.0. But uh, all, that's coming soon to your neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Mar Maria told me about that. Uh, oh, we had... Uh, 
uh, company meeting uh, on Tuesday. So I'm excited to take a look at that too. Yeah, all your people, you have them all loaded up. They'll get that monthly newsletter that in, in, mm -hmm. in different things like that. Like I like Market Watch. I like the newsletters. There's all kinds of stuff in there you're going to love. It'll, it'll link it to your app and everything mm -hmm. too. So I would definitely take a look. Great. Great. All Great. right. So we're, we're about a time here, my man. I really appreciate it. Any final thoughts you want to leave them with today? Well, you know, real estate, uh, it's not a rocket science. It's uh, being in touch with people and uh, consistent with it and just, you know, let them know you're a real, real estate agent. Don't be a secret agent. And if you put that into a, a, a system and just be a knowledge uh, resource to your database, um, your result will come in uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. So let's get excited and just jump in there and make it happen. It is an exciting business, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And as we open up, like I keep telling them now, William, as as we, as you know, as people get back to their lives, as uh, we all open up and get back to um, whatever this new normal will be, be flexible, be versatile. But also, there's an opportunity here. I believe, like if I've been thinking about doing something, especially in California buying, because even you know, even with this going on, the inventory is still low. It's a perfect time as a buyer to get out there and maybe have a couple weeks head start before everybody's 100% confident and then the market exactly. gets flooded again. Same thing with sellers right. though. Right. right. I'm sure right. you've talked to people in your prospecting and you've got people on the sideline just waiting to see what happens, right? Exactly. So, you know, as I look at the market, uh, we're at about uh, 2.5 months of supply in Rancho Cucamonga. I mean, it's, it's still a good market is what I see, but the transaction count is kind of low. But, you know, uh, being rather than being negative and without knowing what's happening in your industry, I mean, you can't be resor uh, resourceful. Right. So knowing what's happening in the market, I think is very important, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, actu the actual closings themselves have gone down. But this is like kind of, you know, because everything happens in, you know, 90 day cycles. When this start, what we're closing out now is what went under contract those first few weeks. But what's listing and what's pending have definitely picked up in your market, in all markets, actually. All, all three yeah, markets were in, yeah. Yeah, that's great. All right, yep. man. Well, hey, I visualize you closing that $1 million in gross commissions this okay. year, you and your team. That's awesome. I love the way you say it confidently. I really appreciate you taking out your time this morning for us. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. All right, Thank you, Ray. Man. Thank you. Bye-bye, okay. everybody.